uh, my degree in, in uh, university was a Bachelor of Physical Education degree and I exposed myself to about 20, 25 different sports. And I've been involved in and I've loved sports all my life. Easy choice to go into coaching. Also, uh, when I was a kid, I had two very uh, uh, good coaches that, that, that uh, determined the path that I took in my life. Uh, and I thought that when I got to the point where I could pay it forward, that's exactly what I should do. Uh, third thing is that uh, when I was uh, applying for a job at Myers High School in Tabor, um, I was, it was for a teaching job as a biology teacher and uh, it was down to a short list of me and a science guy. And uh, the last question of the superintendent of schools was, can you coach? we need a girls basketball coach and I just told him I can coach anything and so I'm in. That's what got me going. Probably simple. I've, I've always been able to motivate kids. I like kids. I'm an intense person. I'm a passionate person about sports. Uh, I uh, get along with and I care about kids. I believe in hard work and commitment and uh, that pretty much that pretty much sums it up. That's why I've had coaching success. I work I get kids to work hard and produce more than they ever thought they could. Here it is in a nutshell. Um, absolute commitment commitment to self and team. Always work harder than the other guy. Winning results from the learning process involved when you fail. Sport isn't always fun. Sometimes it's just hard work. Never give up. Believe in yourself and be humble in a confident sort of way. Now I had a tough time with this one. Um, obviously once you've coached, and in my case, high school volleyball for 34 years, the number of memories that I have both on and off the court are, uh, are uh, numerous and so therefore rather than elaborate on every one of them I'll just say that most of my memorable on-court uh, moments uh, involved uh, the pursuit of uh, provincial 3A uh, gold, silver and bronze medals and specifically the uh, the, 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 the memorable occasions were all in very close matches that we either won and sometimes lost in uh, semi-final and final action at the provincial level. And so spe specifically, I had those kinds of years in 1979, in 1984, in 1986, in 1990, in 1999, in 2001, in 2002, in 2003, and 2005. Uh, if I got into what happened in each one of those things, it would be a half an hour video, and so I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I hope to have shared my passion for the game, uh, my, my commitment to never giving up, uh, to being fair and compassionate to your fellow human being, to give everything you've got on and off the court, and uh, winning at anything only happens with hard work. That's what I would like to pass on. Well, I've been retired for 13 years now and I've been away from coaching for 11 years and I love to coach kids and that was always enough for me but in this era we are all too often where all too often we take coaches for granted this award for me validates a 34-year career in coaching uh, and so therefore I am uh, I'm very happy to be receiving this award at this point in time. I'd like to thank my wife and two sons. They basically understood that uh, for three and a half months at the beginning of every school season, I was going to be at the gym six days a week and getting home on Saturday nights anywhere between one and four o'clock in the morning. Um, we dealt with this by basically going together. My wife came on most uh, tournament trips with us uh, for 34 years. My sons did the same when they were young and uh, when they got into high school they were members of my teams and so they came along with me. 
I'd also like to thank every player that ever pulled on a Myers volleyball jersey because I'm a better person for having had such a great experience with all those kids. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much.